Hi, welcome to Masks Part 2. And we're going to be showing how to avoid ineffective use of the, the face mask like in this case. I didn't think this might be necessary, but watching all the people come into our office and how many problems they were having, I thought I'd go over how to wear the masks in addition to the types of masks. Now, in my previous video, Types of Mask, I didn't show the cloth mask with the optional filter, which you can see here. It comes with a filter that you can, and that's equivalent to an N95 filter that you can purchase and put in that. And that's the, the advantage of this type of mask is it's a lot more comfortable and can be a lot more fitted. So I'll show you. The correct way is over the nose, fitting tight. Your glasses won't fog if you learn to breathe a little bit through your mouth and you keep it tight here. In some cases you might have to put a piece of tape, but that's an effective mask. This is not effective. If you sneeze, breathe out of your nose, it's essentially worthless. Of course this is even more worthless. Um, a lot of people will have them this loose, like it's a feed bag, and again, that's not helpful. So that's the that's the newest cloth mask. This is the brand, by the way, that I got. There's a simple cotton mask, and to make this work, you put it on. You fit it by pinching. Most of them have a moldable piece of the nose. See how I'll mold that to my nose? Luckily, I've got a pretty good sized nose. Couldn't afford to see a plastic surgeon when I was a kid, but uh, would have liked to. And there we go. Well, well, it's a little crooked looking, but it fits. It's tight. There. This is not correct, as I said. Wearing it loose like this is not, and obviously not like this. Wearing it off one ear isn't helpful either. I mentioned that there's, you know, Korean brands are the KFs. They're equivalent to an N95. The Chinese brands, if they're not counterfeit, are KN95. Again, something like this. You take, you put on and you pinch it to mold in your nose. Now this one will probably not fog up because it has a nice tight fit here. You can see the tight fit here, the tight fit here. You can get the regular surgical masks, not as effective in your safety, but definitely reduces the transmissible rate. The whole key with Everybody else wearing masks is instead of if you sneeze, you infect six people, you might infect one and therefore keeps that curve under control. In fact, a lot of thought now is we would never have to have a shutdown if everybody would wear masks and we could avoid the economic problems with a shutdown. So here we go. See how I got it to fit by molding. I'm going to tie it tight and then I have a tight fit there. That's an effective mask. Wearing it like this, not effective. Wearing it like this, even less effective. So again, that's how you want to wear it. I mentioned the other video, the true N95s have, a lot of them have two straps. This is the one I wear when I go get my hair cut because I can actually get my hair cut and leave this on. If you watch, normally I wear one over the ear and one under on the neck like this. And I fit it again by pinching it there. Now, nice tight fit. See, nice tight fit. You know, this protects me, this one, because it's an N95. Smaller pores, viruses, difficulty getting through. Now, when I go get my hair cut, I wear it like that. They, they can get at my hair, which I had done yesterday, as you can see, by this nice short hair. And um, I can still have my hair cut and wear the mask. No problem at all. 
So those are some tips on how to wear the mask. These are the ways not to wear the mask. You do not want to wear it with your nose out, with your mouth down, and certainly not around your face. So please, wear your mask correctly. Hopefully the next time we have a... Uh, uh, an outbreak we don't even have to shut down we can go to everybody wearing masks and decrease the transmissibility and uh, put the people that are at high risk in more seclusion